HubSpot integration. Hello everyone, I'm Christian, the Technical Support Manager at Zero Bounds, and today I'll discuss about our HubSpot integration. So to begin with, let's go through the setup steps. Once you are logged into the Zero Bounds account, just go into integrations, look for HubSpot, which is an official integration, and click on it. We'll get a new window that is saying we'll get redirected back into HubSpot. So let's just click on connect for now. Within the new page, which is from HubSpot, we'll need to select our Zero Bounce account. Click on choose account. It will just redirect us back into uh, Zero Bounce. In a matter of seconds, the page will refresh and we'll already have the integrations within our connected integrations. If we have additional official integrations connected, we'll see all of them in the left hand side besides HubSpot obviously. Before we begin with a demonstration on how to use the integration, how to see the results and do some filtering on uh, HubSpot side, we'll just cover some of the features such as the auto validation feature, which when activated, the contacts will be validated as soon as they are added to the lists. On the auto validation side, please keep in mind that due to a limitation from HubSpot, we are unable to do auto validation if you are uploading uh, or updating your lists through uh, CSV file uploads, CSV or XLS. Unfortunately, doesn't work for auto validation. However, if you are importing or adding contacts uh, one by one or through API, those will be uh, validated as soon as they enter a specific list. Next up, we will have the export valid only. When validating a new list, the valid results will be exported to a new zero bounce valid emails list that is created in the integration. So it's found in your HubSpot account. As we move further, we have results mapping which is a space where you can edit or modify, basically just customize the uh, names of the text that we export back together with your results into, uh, into HubSpot. And we also have the remove duplicates features just in case uh, by accident or you have older contacts that may have been duplicated. Uh, two or three contacts with the same email address may be present in your HubSpot uh, list will take care of that, will not charge you extra if any duplicates are found. We also have a view automation history button. If we go into view automation history, we'll find uh, the uh, email addresses that we have been validating through the auto validation feature. These can also be exported to a uh, CSV. We also have the view shared history where we can see all the actions that we do on the uh, contacts list. So whether we score or validate, we'll have a history of that right here. As we go through the contacts list, you may notice we have edit buttons. If we click on the edit button, we'll get to the scheduled validation, which can be turned on for all, all contacts or uh, only for new contacts. And we can also choose how frequently we want the list to be validated. So we can validate every, every day or every two, three, four days. This is entirely a uh, customer preference. And besides that, we can also do scoring. So if through validation, we find any catch all emails, you can choose to also do a scoring on those uh, within the same process. So you don't have to score separately. We can also add uh, activity data. And by the way, activity data is free for a limited time until September 13th, 2024. So this will consume zero additional credits. So why not just go for it, use it. We can also do scheduled scoring. It works the very same way as uh, the scheduled validation. So you turn it on for all contacts or new contacts and choose the frequency you want to do scoring on those specific lists. 
Now, as you may have noticed when we integrated, the auto validation option, which is this general slider, and also auto validation on lists is by default enabled. So you have a lot of lists and maybe you only want to have auto validation on a specific list or multiple lists. I would recommend going for this slider, which deselects all uh, the auto validation on all lists and just select the list that you maybe want to do auto validation on. As we continue, we'll do a uh, validation. So we get a total amount of emails. As you may have noticed, within the uh, general dashboard, we are counting the contacts. But in HubSpot, you can have multiple email addresses associated to a specific contact. So in the first dashboard, we'll get the number of contacts that you have. But when you try to validate or score, we are doing a request and we are getting the exact amount of email addresses that you have in a specific list. Upon clicking on validate, we also have the option to score my catch-all emails, which consumes one additional credit per email. So if upon validation we find any catch-alls, we'll also do scoring on them. So we can click on validate. It will redirect us back into zero bounds uh, validate um, tab within the dashboard, where we can see the progress of our validation or scoring in real time. As we can see at this very moment, it's being queued. Once it's being queued and starts to get uh, processed, we can also follow its course within the view shared history option. So in a matter of seconds, we should already be seeing it in the view shared history tab. But in the meantime, let's just do a scoring as well. So we can see the, uh, the scoring results as well in, uh, in HubSpot, right? Yes, so scoring has already begun. We can see the uh, integration tab which depicts the integration that we have used, the list name, which is test.csv, the action that we did, which was scoring, the creation date and the status, which shows us the status the file is in or the action is in. So right now it's being exporting zero bounce results. It means that scoring has already been done. And right now we are just getting the results back into your HubSpot integration. And we can see we have a exported status, which means that our scoring is already done. Now to see the results in, uh, in HubSpot, you can do it in two ways really. You can see them at contact level, which means we'll have to go into CRM and contacts. Click on any of the contacts from your list. If you go to actions, view all properties, email information and scroll a bit down, we can see the scoring results and the validation results as well. ZB underscore sub status, if we have any, the scoring timestamp, the last known activity, if we have any, and also a uh, validation timestamp uh, for that as well. I have a validation timestamp from yesterday because I have used the integration myself yesterday. So the contact is already updated from, uh, from that. Secondly, we can see and we can add the tags into our lists. So if you go to CRM and lists, you can click on any of our lists that we have. Right here, we can edit columns. And in the search properties, we can just write ZB. And we can add all of the tags that we are exporting back into your HubSpot integration. Click on Save. 
Within the list, we can see all the contacts that we have. If we bring this slider a, bit, a little bit more to the right, we can see we have added the tags. So we have ZB underscore status, substatus, scoring timestamp, score, validation timestamp, and the last known activity. Any of these can be removed or can be added. It is entirely uh, customer preference. That was it about the HubSpot integration and thank you all for watching.